How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over an updated video of my gun collection. I just did one a couple months ago and quite a bit has changed so far. So um, I'm going to start with pistols and then work my way into the big stuff. Um, starting out, got this SIG P365XO. Um, got it air coated in flat dark earth with the night sights on it. Love the gun. Used to carry it a bunch till I got the Cerakote done, then I stopped carrying it. Um, next, moving up, we got the Glock 22 Gen 4. Um, did my own custom stipple job. Uh, put a flare magwell on it. Uh, used to carry this gun a bunch until I got my new carry gun. Uh, plan on putting another light on this don't know what light i'm gonna run uh so comment down below recommendations uh this will be just my nightstand gun it's got the factory night sights um so yeah comment down below what light i should should run with that one and then this is my newest purchase um this is my now my everyday carry it's a glock 45 gen 5 Obviously with the MOS, I have the Holosyn 407C with the, the Streamlight TLR1 HL. Love the setup. Um, probably gonna already change the 407 for the 507. I didn't realize when I ordered it that the 507, you could change the reticle. I like that one a lot better. So probably end up changing that up. <clears throat> uh, Last for pistols, I have a Springfield. Um, fuck, I even got what model this is. I think it's the XD9M. XD9M, uh, four and a half inch barrel, uh, eighteen round mags. Um, I consider this my backpack gun. I keep it in the the MKM kit. Uh, got 32 rounds or 35 rounds, and then 18 in the mag. Got fold-out stock, flip-up sights, both mag pull. Um, I plan on also running a light on this one, so comment down below a nice compact light. I was gonna run the the light that comes with the kit, but wasn't a fan of it so yeah comment down below what what uh i don't know if i want to do a light laser combo or if i just want to do a, a white light not too sure so moving up moving up uh we'll we'll do shotguns and i'll do gauge first this is uh a Winchester model 140 20 gauge semi-auto uh, I bought it a couple months ago I'm gonna use it this year to bird hunt so keep you updated on that I bought it just for a little little lighter the gauge is easier less recoil so we'll see and then uh, Moving into 12 gauge, I'll do the smallest. Um, this is a, a Churchill, the ACAR model 612. Got it for a hundred bucks at the, at a gun show. So couldn't pass up a hundred dollar shotgun. Uh, next, um, I'll, I'll do this one. This is the Silver Gun Maximus 12. Um, it's a semi-auto 12 gauge with a 11 round mag tube or it comes with the, the five round so you can still use it for hunting I love it it's great kind of keep it for home defense but ever since I got this one that one kind of got put to the back of the safe got the 590A1 Mossberg uh, the marine edition have absolutely no complaints it does everything i need it to and some so this is now the the home defense shotgun 
Um, I also plan on mounting a, a light on this one, but I don't know if I want to configure a pressure pad or just a, a button. So comment down below recommendations on that as well. And then last but not least, I have one of my first shotguns. This is a old Stevens Model 67E 12 gauge pump. Uh, this thing's tried and true. I've hunted with it for a lot. <laughs> but now, now this one kind of just got put to the back of the safe, cleaned it up. Don't really use it as much. So plan on just keeping it. Uh, next. Next, we're moving up to, we'll do like pistol carbons. Uh, I got the, I believe this one is the ASR, yeah, the ASR 10 mil. Um, no complaints. I plan on setting it up with a, an angled grip. I'll probably do a laser on this one and then probably just do like a, a sig romeo just a little red dot but uh next um uh, moving into the, the ak pistols we have the the help up it's the pioneer arms draco um i like shooting this one a lot better than my actual draco uh, just because the barrel's a little longer doesn't get as hot or as hot and it actually has a nice nice guard on the the top of the barrel and then uh, moving up we got the mini draco this thing's a blast to to shoot shoots big ass flames it's it's more of just a a gun you bring out to kind of show off it's super impractical but cool to have and then uh Move up to a ARs. This is just a, a cheap build I threw together. Uh, it's a it's an Anderson lower with a PSA upper, all flat dark earth as you can see. And then this is just a cheap Amazon. Uh, it's a X Vision Optics. I think it's like a three times. Got multiple colors. You can change the reticle. Next, this is my my go-to AR. It's the HM Defense uh, Defender M5. Uh, I got a Bushnell Trophy 1x4 LPVO, uh, the Magpul Bad Lever. Um, I think this is just a, a cheap Amazon sling with the uh, cuties. Uh, I got also just a Amazon light laser combo with the pressure pad. Super bright. Uh, claims to be 1500 lumens. Can't complain about it. Batteries lasted a lifetime too. Haven't had to change it for a while. Um, moving up. We have the ultimate AR-10. It's the the Maxi Defense AR-10 chambered in 308. Um, I absolutely love this gun. This is one of my go-to's now. Um, this and one other rifle are they're 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 up there for the the go-to all-out rifle. Um, I have the Sig LPBO the uh, I think it's the MSR. Yeah, the Tango MSR 1x10. It's great. It does its job. I have the same same light and laser combo. Just cheap one off Amazon. Uh, Magpul foregrip. Uh, I believe this is uh, the Clive 6 position um, 6x9 swivel bipod. Works great. Got the Magpul sling. Love this rifle. Uh, invested too much money into it so far <laughs> unfortunately next oh, 
We have another 308. This is the, the Hawa M1500 heavy barrel. Um, I just got a cheap Burris uh, 4x16x50 um, Magpul bipod. Um, recommend, I need some recommendations for a, a new bipod. I want a, a bipod that swivels. Uh, this one's just stationary. I like it, it gets the job done, it somewhat matches the rifle, but I want to upgrade it. Next, we have the Thompson Center Vulture 2 and 6.5. Um, this is the SIG Buck, uh, Bucksmaster 4x16x44. It's a great scope. Planned on it being my coyote rifle after. I get approved for my can. I'm waiting on some paperwork. So there should be some upgrades coming with this one. So stay tuned for that. And last, this was a Savage, or this is a Savage Axis 110, uh, chambered in 6.5. I'm planning on just throwing a, a cheap scope on it. And I'm gonna give this one to my brother for his first like hunting rifle some cheap some easy some reliable and then uh, last but not least we have the the remington sportsman 74 auto chambered in 30 out six this gun was handed down to me from my grandpa after he passed away i love it i've hunted with it a couple times I'm just just worried about damaging it so this one stays in the safe i bring it out a couple times clean it shoot it but majority of the time it stays in the safe so that is i believe yeah that is it so any recommendations on on new firearms i should pick up or upgrades that i should do like I said, I am uh, I'm looking for a couple lights for the 590. Um, probably a laser setup for the ASR. And if you if you have a good budget um, red dot or like holographics that aren't $500, let me know. But thank you for checking in.